Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a very casual, impromptu Zara keep or return haul. As you guys know, anywhere in the mall that you go, you literally have to just buy the item and hope and pray that it works. Like everyone's fitting rooms are still closed. Whenever you go to the mall, it's kind of just like hit or miss. You gotta buy things and just try them on at home. So I figured that I would do that here with you guys. I bought some things from Zara. I'm not gonna lie, some of the items I have already worn because I just could not resist and you'll probably recognize them as I bring them out. But other items I have not tried on yet. So this is just gonna be like a very casual, kind of like you're in the fitting room with me and we're just gonna be trying on some clothes, seeing if they work. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm so happy to have you here and join the family if you're not new. What's up, girl? And we're gonna get into the video. Have a little bag. Did get some really fun stuff right now. So Zara is like popping off for summer and spring. They have the cutest stuff, lots of color. And this first item is a little blazer. You guys have probably already seen it. I've worn it in like two of my past videos, but I am obsessed with it. It is this hot pink blazer. And I'm just now realizing when I wore it, I did not take the tag off. Um, but I will have links to everything down below in the description box in case you guys want to shop any of these. But like I said, this is going to be a casual haul. I'm just getting up, showing you guys um, the items. But this blazer is so freaking cute. I wore this out to um, a girls' night with one of my friends. I wore it kind of like the same outfit. I just wore um, like lighter jeans. These are like a dark denim, obviously. But you could totally dress this up, dress this down. I love it dressed down, especially for the summer. Like this denim would look so cute. I got it in a size medium, so it could be a little bit oversized. Um, and I think it is the perfect pop of color. This blazer is 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. I just like roll up the sleeves. Like I said, go a size bigger if you want like an oversized look. As you can tell, it still like covers my butt. You could totally also, well, probably would have to go like up one more size to wear this as a dress and then belt it. Um, Cause it's a little bit short but I think as like an oversized blazer for like rooftop drinks, be so cute. So that's this first one, love it. Definitely keeping that in my rotation because it is so cute. Zara always kills it with their blazers. Okay, this next one you guys probably also saw in the last vlog, um, I wore this. I am not gonna style it exactly how I wore it, but I will try this on. Here is an idea of what it looks like on, let me bring it down a little bit. Here we go. So this is kind of how I wore it, just with like a different top. But I wore this out on the boat. As I said in the last vlog, you guys probably saw exactly how I styled it. But I'd probably do something similar like this. This would be so cute if you are planning like a beach vacation. This is so pretty. It's just like black and white, very neutral. It's a mini skirt, which is very on trend right now. And I would, hold on, hold please. I would just throw on this little pop of color with it. I think the black and white and yellow, this is kind of how I wore it the last time too, just with a different top, but just the little pop of color just gives you a little nod to summer with the midi skirt, super cute. I also love that it's asymmetrical. I love any type of asymmetrical cut, either in a shirt or a skirt. I think it's really flattering, makes you look very like toned. Um, and I just love the print. Just reminds me of like being on an island somewhere. The little pop of yellow. This is from Forever 21. Um, I'll also link this down below or like similar styles. It's kind of like a Bottega wannabe. <laughs> Obviously not the real thing, but still kind of gives you the trend. All right, so that's the skirt. Next, what do we have? This is like a treat because I've been like putting these items away, not wearing them because I wanted to try them on with you guys. Oh, okay. So I got this little shirt um, and we'll see how this looks. So I think, I think I can just do a bra. So let me throw this on. Okay. So I just threw my jeans back on. Not so sure about this top. Um, I thought it was going to be like have a little bit more coverage. I think for the summer it's really cute. The only thing is I have a bra on under. Um, this is definitely like beach wear. Like I was thinking that I could use this in the summer and then also if I ever like when I go back to work I could wear it work too. 
but because it's so see-through you would definitely have to like I said wear this as like a summer piece and like have your bikini on under so the see-through is totally fine or have like a slip shirt underneath so that this is work appropriate like the way that I have this on now I would get fired immediately so there's no way that I could even like transition this into the workplace unless I wore like a slip underneath I don't know I'm just not in love with the fit also it seems a little bit awkward like it seems like I would want it I don't know to even be like a little bit higher I guess this isn't like exactly what I thought it was going to look like on and that's why Zara sometimes can just be hit or miss because like you think something is so cute on the hanger and then when you try it on it's like a complete fail. This one I don't know I really like the sheerness I like the material I just think if it was in a different like I don't know like a different cut I just feel like something's like off. The buttons are only like down the like lower half of the shirt so all this upper half like there's no buttons I couldn't even button it if I wanted to and then there's like this little like frilly detail I like that it's cinched in a little bit and it goes out I like the stripes like the see-through stripes but again I don't see how I could really wear this and I don't even really like it for like the beach like this is a little bit too formal and because it looks formal like you can't even wear it formally so this is a no. Okay, this next piece definitely kind of looks like I'm wearing a nightie, but I'm not going to judge it yet. I'm going to put it on totally. I really liked the color. This, again, is like another cool way to do color in the summertime. This is like a pastel, and if you're like really scared of wearing color and you just kind of like want to ease into it, pastels will be your best friend because they aren't like bright pink like that blazer you know like if you just want a little bit of color but still want it to be kind of neutral this is like the perfect color like pastels will be your best friend i initially like this because i like the neckline of it it has like almost like this nighty like see-through lace detail and then halter neck in the middle and then it ties around in the back so i'm just tying it like that because i'm short so i need this to like go up a little bit like this length not cute like I need it to be up a little um I don't know if I'm feeling this I thought I would really like this detail but I feel like it just looks awkward I feel like it would look so much better if that wasn't there and you could just do like this type of thing like just a halter dress like this would look so oh my god look how much better that looks just like without the little straps I wish it just came like this like this is so cute and summery really pretty for like brunch like Mother's Day Father's Day but I don't know I feel like this ruins it which when I saw it in the store I thought this would like make it but maybe it's because I have really small boobs it just does not look right like this I look like a child I don't know I'm I'm not really feeling this you definitely have to tie it. Even if you just tied it in the back, I feel like you have to tie it all the way around and do like a little loop dee So if you guys get this, definitely like make sure you tie it all the way around. But I don't know. If I were to keep this, I would totally just like cut that part off. But I like it in the back is the thing. Like I like the lace detail in the back. It's really pretty if you guys can see that. It's like really pretty but it just looks so awkward in the front okay next we have an all white little number and kind of looks like a 90 it's definitely really wrinkled because i had it in the bag for so long but i actually if you guys follow sophia and chintz yet just saw sophia um just bought this dress and she posted a photo in it i'm just putting you down so you guys can kind of see the length and where it hits on me I am 5'2", so that is the length that hits me like right at my ankle. The dress is very wrinkly, so it definitely needs to like be steamed. I'm not understanding how you tighten this part. I don't get why you can't tighten that. What size did I get? Oh, I got a small. So I definitely wish I got or they had extra small I think I looked and I didn't see that they had it because it's definitely like too big on me I would need it to be like you know oh well I guess you can tighten up the straps okay well then I kind of look like no that's not cute um 
I don't know. This dress is kind of awkward. I think the wrinkles are throwing me off and the like neckline. This is not a really flattering neckline if you have small boobs. I feel like this only looks good if it's like a cowl neck, like it's drapes a little bit. Um, I do like the side detailing. I think that's very on trend. Just like cutouts right now is like all the rage. But I just feel like this dress isn't doing that much for me and my figure. I kind of just look frumpy, you know, like I'm going to bed, like nightgown. I do like the slit also. Like it has a little slit on the right side, which I think is very fun for summer, very sexy. I love a good slit. I know, but I'm just not feeling the dress. I think the length also doesn't work for me. Like normally I don't mind maxis, but I feel like it would just need to be a little bit higher, which is not really a big deal. Like you could get this hemmed. But, I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of like a basic dress, doesn't do much. You would definitely have to add like a belt or something, or it be like the perfect kind of fit for your body type. If you're kind of around my body style or body, body type, body style, if you're around my body type, kind of like smaller waist, bigger butt, short, this probably isn't the most flattering unless you can find it in like your size. I would have definitely needed like an extra small, but this is a no. This would be nice for like a little like beach vacay. Also, like if you just got married, this could be cute like on your honeymoon. I don't know. Not for me though. This is the last thing that I got from Zara. This was a total nightmare to put on. If you end up getting this, beware that all of the buttons, like you have to button every single one up. I stopped towards the top because I just could not button it all the way. I was done. But this is a really pretty dress. The print really like attracted me at like first glance. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, this print is so pretty, especially for like spring and summer. It is very colorful, has lots of pinks, purples, blues, yellows, just kind of like every really pretty color. This really reminds me of something perfect that you could wear for like Mother's Day or any like family type of event, maybe like bridal shower, anything like during the day. It would also be really cute for work once it starts getting a little hot in the spring and summer. Just like a little cute little work dress. It is on like kind of like the mid short side. So right above my knee, this is like the perfect length for me. This is where I like kind of all my dresses to fit. And if I'm gonna wear something like this to work, I think this is the shortest length that you could go. So not too high. It's a very pretty dress. I thought about wearing this for my nephew's graduation that's coming up, but I don't know. I feel like a mom in this, you know what I mean? Like I feel like old, like very covered up. Although like that's not old or a problem at all. Like sometimes I love to be covered up, but I just feel like I'm not like totally vibing with this. I just feel like a little bit older than I am and a little bit more conservative is the word. Like I'm not really like a conservative dresser unless I'm like going to work. So I don't know, I just feel like this is not really it. And like having it open, you guys can tell like all of the buttons, it doesn't really look right when you have it open. You need to have it like all the way buttoned up for it to look cute. And having it all the way buttoned up, I just feel like very mommy, like a mom going to like my kid's graduation as opposed to like my nephew's graduation. Like I wanna be the cool aunt, not the mom, okay? Like I'm not a mom yet, I'm the cool aunt. And this doesn't give me cool aunt vibes. So <laughs> I think this is going back, even though it's really cute, it's just not for me. That is everything that I picked up. I didn't go too ham at Zara. Um, even like those little things that I got, my bill was outrageous. Definitely a few things are gonna be going back. The only two things that I'm gonna be keeping are the blazer, which I absolutely love. That is gonna be a staple in my closet. And then that really pretty skirt. This one, so cute. I think I'm gonna be wearing this all summer as well. So a few things worked out, a few things didn't. I feel like that's always the case with Zara. Let me know what you guys are picking up for the spring and summertime, what fashion videos you wanna see, and if you enjoyed this video. I know it was quick, very casual, um, but I know you guys love Zara. I love Zara and they have some really cute things. If you can find them and if they fit and they work, they have some good stuff right now. So I hope you enjoyed. See you later.